chat. We back. Usually I will hype up every episode of this, of this little uh, walkthrough, but man, it, this one's going to be a little bit tough for me to get through, man, because every time the conversation of Eddie Guerrero gets brought up, I just, I, I just get sad, man, thinking about it, because I still remember the day when he had passed away, man. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. His, him passing away was probably the most shocking moment of my life watching WWE, real talk. Real talk, because cause keep in mind, he was supposed to perform that very same night. He was supposed to perform. And when they when they actually showed that he had passed away that night, I was like, wow, bro. I had the popcorn and every damn thing ready. I, I was ready to see Eddie Guerrero real, go out there and do his thing, man. You, you talk about somebody who was over it. I know we, I know we talk about John Cena like, being the biggest superstar, but if you want to talk about uh, the most over baby face in the history of WWE... I, I I would have to give it to Eddie Guerrero. Of of this timeline, of this generation, I give it to Eddie Guerrero. No cap. The ruthless aggression era was Eddie, Eddie Guerrero was the king. I'm sorry. He was the king of that. And man, it, 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 it's, it's just tough every time when we break up the, the conversation about Eddie Guerrero. So once again, rest in peace to the late great Eddie Guerrero. We're about to get into one of his matches that he had at WrestleMania 20 against pre percocet Kurt Angle, because we didn't get him until he went to TNA. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, he wasn't there yet. He wasn't there yet, but he was still a beast. All right. Can you stand the heat? Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. This was taking place on March 14, 2004. Eddie Guerrero looks to defend his WWE Championship against one of WWE's all-around greats, gold medalist Kurt Angle. A month after his shocking win over Brock, to capture the gold. I definitely remember that. Can he turn back the Olympic challenger in New York? Wow, this was done in, in New York, too? That's crazy. Shout out to Cash. <laughs> All right, let's get into this shit. Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to try to get through this shit without crying. Because <laughs> this is going to be sad, man. Let's get it. Hopefully they don't show no sad damn cutscenes. I don't want to see that shit. Yep. Finally earning a chance with WWE. It took him years to finally realize his dream, and once he had, Eddie did everything he could to keep it. In 2004, Eddie won a 15 man mini Royal Rumble that granted him a match against Brock Lesnar at No Way Out for the WWE Championship. The last man he eliminated? Yep, Kurt Angle. Damn. But still, at this point, the two appeared to be on friendly terms, even if the disappointment was obvious for Kurt. And at No Way Out in San Francisco, Eddie would achieve the impossible, defeating Brock Lesnar to finally hold the WWE Championship. It was Eddie Guerrero's time. It was his time to show that he was a top performer. So I knew Eddie was on a roll, and I, I knew my work was... Damn, Kurt Angle grew out a beard. <laughs> I thought I'd never see the day. On the surface, it seemed all was well. Two fantastic competitors who would battle to see who was better. 
turned out that Kurt Angle had been seething ever since that 15-man rumble. And with his match set, he struck. Attacking Eddie while working as a special guest referee, Angle went ballistic on Latino heat. I felt the need to beat Eddie Guerrero, not just beat him, but beat him up and try to hurt him. The tone was set. This was not about competition or athletic pursuit. This was about a former champion desperate to reclaim his throne and a new champion who wasn't going to let anyone take his dreams away from him. Now it's time for you to put Kurt Angle in the silver medal position and find a way to retain Eddie Guerrero's WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But if you're not careful, Kurt's going to grab that ankle and you'll have two choices, tap or snap. Ah, shit, here we go. I did not realize that Kurt Angle had ass and grew out of damn beard. That's crazy. Alright, now we in the ruthless aggression era. Last episode was the last of the attitude era. Oh, no, you don't. Man. Feel so good to play Eddie Guerrero again, chat. Uh. You know what's crazy? In 22, they actually, if you, if you guys remember in the showcase mode with Rey Mysterio, two of his matches, actually no, one of his matches from WCW was actually a part of that shit. So it's kind of dope that they brought that shit up. I just realized I'm in the red already. What the fuck? Wait a minute. What's this? What is this overall? That man already got me taking permanent damage already. What the hell is this? It's saying, I'm the champion for a reason, and I'm just as good as you are. Nobody able to grab control. Both back to their feet in the stand. Ah, shit. Angle looking a little surprised that Eddie was more than capable on the ground. Nope. Oh, okay, Eddie. I see you. Huh? Oh, it says we got to re reverse. Well, that's going to be a pain in the ass. You already got me taking permanent damage. Fuck. Nah, we ain't worry about that. You can get no quick victories, Mr. Kurt. All right, here we go. Don't waste down. I want to try to do some damage too while I get these damn objectives in here. Nope. Now nah, the feeling out process over. Okay. Get your ass up. Oh, you little bitch. You stop that. I'm so glad that 2K improved the rope rebound moves because that shit was ass in 22. I'm not even gonna lie on that. Twenty-two, it was so damn stiff. Fuck. Bro, how am I out of step? running out of stamina. This is like, what, the third damn episode that this done happened? Ah, oh, shit. Man. 
Nope. Bro, I'm going to have to find a way to stun this dude because he just going to keep reversing. Yep, see? Yeah, I'm going to have to stun him. I'm about to stun his ass. He doing that shit on purpose so I don't got no damn stamina. Bitch. Hey. Viva la raza. Get your ass up. Damn it. Let's see what this one do. Oh, little tilt the world. And he's done too. Let's go. Oh, he used his payback. I was like, how the hell he recover from that so fast? I forgot too. This year, this game got that new damn payback system where you can instantly recover from being stunned. It's kind of OD. Not gonna lie. Three amigos time. Set him up. Oh. Moving out of the way the second that Jeez. Eddie dove at him from the top rope. Eddie went chest first into the barricade, taking all the air out of him. God damn. Nope. Oh no! Motherfucker trying to take me to Super Play City, chat. Just thought about it, Chad. This is also the WrestleMania where Goldberg and Brock Lesnar had fought. I'm actually surprised they ain't put that shit in. Oh shit. Not good. Can I but match me, sir? As Angle maintained his control, Eddie again grew desperate, looking for any chance to get Angle on his frog splash to a downed Angle. Each time Eddie took a risk, it failed to pay off. Was Kurt baiting him to force the mistakes, or was Eddie just rushing the opportunity? Eddie would need to make adjustments if he was going to find the victory. That's just how good he was in the ring, boy. You couldn't do that shit on Kurt. His ring IQ was second to none. Beat. Yeah. I feel to get punched and turned around, huh? Mm. Fuck. Nope. Oh, and with a light combo, okay. Yes, sir. Let's get it. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, my God. Ow. My ankle. Yo, stop. Yo, ass over here. Beat. Gonna get this three amigos. One. Ah, ah, ah. 
Get your ass up. No one able to maintain a dominant position for long. Both men were unsure of their path to victory. But Angle was not going to let that throw him off his plan as he took the champion down again with another German suplex. Going back to the Brock Lesnar. Oh, shit. He tried to go for that. Nope. Going back to the damn Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg situation. I'm actually surprised that they didn't include that in there. But at the end, it already was in 14, so they probably didn't want to do a repeat. Bitch. Yeah, I'd have hit his ass with too many of them. He like, nah, nah, bitch. None of that. Bitch. Oh, he started that. You sneaky fuck. Bitch. Oh, really? Wait, how did he do that? Oh, you just taunt. Oh, okay. So you don't have to do that. You can just taunt his ass. Be like, no, nah, I'll let you take a turn. Then I'm finish your ass with that, bitch. <laughs> Go. Get out. Get up, Eddie. God damn it. Yeah, I probably should have did the shit white. Oh my god. I did not know he could do that shit from a standing position. Oh, this is bad. I don't want to use my resiliency, so we're good. Look, motherfucker, you won't get this DDT. Stop fighting it. Thank you. Hit him with a second server to a three bit. From now on, for the remainder of this series, I'm not using none of my damn signatures or finishers in, until I see it up there on the objective screen. That's the last fucking time I'm doing that shit. I knew that shit was going to happen. I knew it. Now I got to fill my damn meter up. Damn! Oh, you little bitch. I'm a... <laughs> Look, bitch. We about to be sitting over here doing damn roll-up reversals and shit. Your ass over here. Let's go for it. He probably gonna reverse it. If he reverse it, I'm fucked. Okay, we got him. Two! Yes, sir. Straight to the top rope. We ain't, make, we ain't playing no games. Yes, sir! You 
got to be kidding me. Go away, Sam. As long as we can keep his ass from getting his damn finisher, we good because we in the damn, we in the orange now with our legs. So if he hit us with one more damn, one more damn ankle lock, I'm going to have to use resiliency. Because that's the only way I'm going to break out of it. Oh, fuck. Now it's in the red. Yep, I just had to open my fucking mouth, didn't I? Wait, what? Oh, face down. Okay. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Nope. Oh no, he got his finisher. Nope. Mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you tried to sneak me. Motherfucker. Oh my god, bro. What is this man on right now? What is he on? Oh my god. There we go. Eddie had fought so hard to get back into the match. Struggling to get Angle back to his feet, hoping to... <laughs> Yo, Eddie, Eddie Guerrero fucking threw him outside the ring. <laughs> Kurt Angle got him and looked at me. Eddie was like, oh shit. <laughs> Kurt Angle chased him and put him back in the ankle. <laughs> oh, man. So many good moments featuring Eddie Guerrero, man. And Kurt Angle. Shout out to him, too. Man. It feels so good to, to see matches like that again, man. This guy was great. I don't care what nobody say. This guy was fucking great, man. It's, it's a shame that he is no longer with us, man. I, I really feel like if he never passed away, he probably would have been the biggest star to John Cena. I'm just saying. I think, it, I think Eddie Guerrero and John Cena... Probably wouldn't have had the Rock and Stone Cold in terms of in terms of star power, because remember Stone Cold and the Rock, like I said in the last episode, they were like at the top of the fucking Attitude Era. I think them two right there, if Eddie had a few more years, they would have been the two, the the two of the best from the Ruthless Aggression Era. Real talk, man, that was it. it feels so good to see that match again, man. I <laughs> I still remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Rest in peace, Eddie Guerrero, man. God, that was good.